Hello guys, Keep on TV, back for a video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Drew Bellingham again. And I'm going to be giving you guys my unpopular opinion. So, I think selling Drew Bellingham in the summer will lead to Birmingham City getting promoted next season in the 2020-2021 season. Um, of course, um, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Um, I don't think there's Birmingham City fans out there who actually think this will happen. But yeah, I'm going to be giving you my reasons why it could happen and that. So yeah. First of all, Jude Bellingham. Um, people are saying that, well, the media are saying that he's going to go for 25 to 30 million, something around that bracket. So if we do sell him for 25 to 30 million, that means even though we've lost an amazing young talent, um, we can use that money to buy in three or four, even maybe you know five players to strengthen the squad, to add more squad depth, and to add. Um, key area, you know, strengthening key areas because I think we've got a decent squad. We have got a decent squad. Last season it was challenging for the playoffs, even when you well we had challenges back then. But I'm all about like even this season we've been giving teams a go. Um and yeah, um I think if we do have this um amount of money, twenty five to twenty million, that means we can hopefully get Jay Clark also on a permanent. I'm not too sure if Frank Lampard will allow that, but Scott Hogan will definitely sign him up. I think. Um, it's his birthday today as well. He's 20, 28 years old. Happy birthday, Scott Hogan. Um, wish you a very nice day, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Um, Jay Collins talked to Scott Hogan. I think them two players are definitely ones that we need to have for next season if we actually want to be um, getting promoted. But it's been too long, hasn't it? It's been like eight years now, and yeah. Um, I think our defence is good if we keep Clark Salter. Roberts is pretty decent. I mean, he's done well this season. Uh, Pedersen, of course, he's amazing. One of the best left-backs in the league. Um, will we keep him? It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the summer because what uh, like teams like Watford were after him, Premier League clubs were after him in the January transfer window. And we've got Max and Conlon on the right, um, maybe another right-back. I mean, we've got Wes Harden, but I don't really think he, he's good enough, to be honest, if we want to be fighting for promotion. Ivan Tunic and Gary Gardner, maybe... Um, get a better central midfielder than Gary Garner. I know he's been amazing, but yeah, we need like someone in the middle who can have, you know, a bit of both, a bit of defensive work and really good going forward and create a lot of um, you know, create a lot of openings. Um, and on the wings we have Crowley, Bella. So we're we're all right on the wings. Possibly another winger. Um. Yeah, and up front, of course, um, we've only got two strikers at the club. Gimenez is out on loan, so and Vialba is going to be coming back um, in the summer as well. He's currently on loan as well, so we've got a lot of depth on the wing. Maybe just one more, maybe Groski, someone that I'll be targeting, um, or you know, someone that I think we should sign. And up front, like I said, two strikers. Gimenez is going to be coming back. Um, I think he'll be leaving in the summer, so yeah, hopefully we can get another striker in. So yeah guys, this has been a quick video, it's been my unpopular opinion. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, it's been Keep Watching TV here. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.